Welcome to RVN Travel Adventures. This is Jesus Manuel Menacarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'll be doing my uh, August report, talking about my various adventures and my impressions of my adventures and things that are occurring in the RVTA uh, ecosystem. So let me go to my notes here. I recently uh, went to Guadalupe River State Park uh, near San Antonio. I enjoyed uh, going to Bernie, a very beautiful little town. If you ever have a chance, go to Bernie. Uh, my wife was uh, considering a position in San Antonio and I said, let's buy a house in Bernie. That was about 15 years ago. Uh, Bernie's a fabulous little town. San Antonio is also a fabulous little town. We also went there and we enjoyed going to the Mercado and Mi Tierra restaurant and, and uh, various uh, locations in a very touristy town. Uh, San Antonio is the number one tourist destination in the great state of Texas. Well deserved. So we went down there and I, uh, my, my impressions of my experiences at the Guadalupe River State Park, I shouldn't have gone personally. Personally, I shouldn't have gone. My wife and I should not have gone. It was too dry. It was desiccated. The river was uh, stagnant pretty much. Had some nice areas that were uh, deep, but still uh, the water was not moving rapidly. There were other rivers that we passed and we saw that they were full, but the Guadalupe River at Guadalupe River State Park was uh, definitely a disaster. So we just uh, endured the heat. Uh, I shot some videos. Uh, we went on hikes and uh, enjoyed ourselves to the best of our ability. Again, the highlights of going to Guadalupe River State Park was going to San Antonio and Bernie. We also visited some of the other communities in the area like Bulverde, a very modest community, by the way. Uh, if you want to go check out some nice towns in the region, again, Bernie and San Antonio. So in Texas, we've been having a bit of a drought. A bit of a drought. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. For the last two months, it's been regularly 95 to 105 here in the great state of Texas. It's not unusual. A lot of places in the United States have been suffering uh, through high temperatures. And of course, there's been flooding in Kentucky, f fires in Texas, and also in California. And uh, again, uh, we're suffering the ravages of climate change. Of course, there's a lot of climate change deniers in Texas because, you know, it's pretty much uh, the, the senators, the governor, the lieutenant governor, the attorney general, they're all owned by the oil and gas industry. The oil and gas industry is really big in the great state of Texas. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe next year will be a little bit better, but uh, there's not, you know, much hope at this time. It's going to be several decades before this, uh, we transition from this situation maybe to a better situation. All if we, uh, you know, are better stewards of the environment and don't use as much fossil fuels. I was critiqued recently on one of my channels saying, hey, why, uh, if you're such an environmentalist, why are you driving around in that truck that gets 10 miles a gallon to go camping? Uh, you're, <laughs> they're right to say that. Uh, I should be more... Uh, you know, maybe travel less. Uh, it's very, very difficult. Of course, my new truck uh, is, doesn't pollute as much as some of these older trucks and some of these diesel trucks, etc., etc. But we have to uh, be better stewards of the environment. Hopefully, uh, the prices for EVs will drop. But dare to dream. Right now, if I wanted a new, that new Chevy truck, that really nice new uh, Chevy Silverado EV. Wow, I like that. Guess what the price for that one is? It's over a hundred grand for the initial ones that are coming out in 23, 24, or whenever they come out. They're not out now. Uh, and, you know, that's too bad. And the towing capacity will probably be low. Uh, it won't be able to tow for a long distance because uh, they currently don't have the batteries, uh, a lot of batteries. You know, you can put in a few batteries, but you need a lot of batteries to tow a, tr you know, a travel trailer, period, or to have a Class B or a truck, anything. You have to have a lot of batteries uh, if you're going to haul stuff. Uh, you, you know, for a car, you know, just cruising around town, you, and, no, and just two people in the car, no problem, you know. Yeah, but for a truck that's going to haul 5,000 pounds, 7,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds, you need a lot 
of batteries. So you should have an EV range of four or five hundred, not two hundred and fifty. <laughs> and of course, uh, it drops by half typically if you uh, haul something that's an appropriate size, like five thousand, six thousand pounds uh, UVW. It drops down in half, and that's if everything goes according to plan. A lot of folks out there, I was reading a report by uh, one company, I forget, uh, I, have a, I have a story, an article on that. Uh, they critiqued uh, the Ford F Lightning 150 saying, hey, it only got 80 miles towing a 10,000 pound travel trailer. Uh, duh, that's a big travel trailer. <laughs> the 5,000 pound uh, travel trailer got uh, significantly more, like 130 miles being towed, which is essentially was half of the, uh, you know, 260 mile, you know, estimated, uh, you know, range for that battery pack. Again, if you add a lot of batteries, what do you get? You get a lot more range and you're not supposed to tow a big, uh, you know, haul a gigantic travel trailer. And that's a mid-sized truck. To be honest with you, that F Lightning F-150, it has mid-sized truck batteries, does not have full-size truck batteries, it has mid-sized truck batteries. It needs more batteries. We need more batteries, bigger batteries. But of course, what's the problem with batteries? They're expensive right now. Hopefully in the future, battery tech will be less expensive. We get more and better batteries in the future. Dare to dream. Let me read my notes here, see what's next on my agenda. The price of gas. I was recently on my trip. It was under $3.50 in the state of Texas. It was very inexpensive to go on my trip. I only spent about 200 bucks uh, to use, uh, you know, for gas on my trip to Guadalupe River State Park. Again, uh, in retrospect, I should have went to uh, my usual haunts. I usually go to northern New Mexico, Chama. Red River area, stuff like that. Uh, cooler weather at elevation. I should have went there. Or Southern Colorado, you know, all those beautiful destinations in Southern Colorado. Great camping in Southern Colorado. I should have spent the other, you know, extra two, three, maybe $400 in gas to go down there and spend the week. But I tried to be uh, conservative with my gas usage and, you know, and not use as much gas and you know, save some cash and went to Guadalupe River State Park. So I was uh, penny wise, but pound foolish. Where did that line come from? So in retrospect, should have gone to Red River, New Mexico and had a better and cooler time. Instead of all the heat, I should have enjoyed the cool temps at elevation in the beautiful town of Red River and uh, or in Cuesta and stuff like that. But I didn't, you know. In retrospect, vision is, you know, you know, in retrospect is 2020. Okay, let me see what else I got in my little notes here. My, oh, I got the wrong way, my phone. Okay, EV trucks. I talked about that already, but my channels, I have various channels, and I do different things on various channels. I just want to do a quick little promo for my different channels. I have this channel, RV and Travel Adventures, RVTA. Of course, you can order t-shirts and check out my uh, Amazon affiliates be uh, links below and also for Aolithium and stuff like that below in the description. Thank you very much for checking that out. I also have another channel, JMM Garza Photography and Video. I'm a longtime photographer and videographer. I've exhibited across the uh, United States from coast to coast, lectured across coast to coast for Smithsonian. I've had exhibits in Europe, Mexico, the list goes on and on. So I have a lot of photography uh, stuff on that site. It's not as popular as it used to be because me talking about photography, for some reason, uh, people do say, hey, uh, you're putting me to sleep, boy. <laughs> so my RV, I used to have all my RV stuff over there. It was very popular. And then I moved it to this channel. And so that channel has gone uh, not as popular. So this channel, my RVTA channel is doing a lot better and catching up to my older, two years older, uh, J.M.M. Garza Photography and Video Site. I also have one more site. Uh, it's called uh, My Normal Life? Question mark. I do. I, like I recently uh, put up a fence and I recently pulled some fence posts and uh, talked about my garden and my trees. And that's the kind of stuff I put on that channel. Uh, uh, you can check that out. Again, it's called My Normal Life? Question mark. Okay. Those are my other channels if you're interested. 
Fall RV travel. What, what, where do I want to go in the fall? I would like to go in the fall, you know, do some RV travel. Uh, maybe go to those places I uh, wanted to go previously, but maybe not. Maybe I'll go to southern Arizona, southern New Mexico, maybe southern California, and do some uh, camping down there. Maybe, uh, but at least uh, southern New Mexico, I have friends down there, and southern uh, Arizona, I have friends down there too. So it'd be a fun little trip. And again, it's going to be costly uh, because of gas. Gas is still not cheap, especially when you leave Texas and go to New Mexico, Arizona, and definitely more expensive in California. All my family and friends are quite envious of the price of gas uh, in Texas. But, you know, I'm quite envious of their cool temperatures. Right now in San Francisco, it's probably around 65 degrees, while in here in Texas, it's about 105. Uh, what would you rather have? Cool temperatures, beautiful beaches and beautiful mountains, or uh, the plains, and I emphasize on the plain part of the plains, and uh, hot temperatures. I'd rather be in California, personally. I'm a California boy. Did you get that? I'm a California boy, not a Texas boy. My parents are from Texas. My grandparents are from Texas. My great-grandparents are from Texas, but I'm from California, and I love California. So fall travel, maybe go again to uh, southern Arizona, southern New Mexico for sure and uh, check out uh, the scenery down there maybe take some pictures I'm hoping to get a laptop in the next uh, couple weeks uh, that's the plan after I finish finish off my fence I still got to put a gate in another little section of uh, fencing uh, I'll do that and um, order a one of those new Mac uh, laptops and uh, with the M2 chip so I can do some editing, keep myself busy, especially if I'm going by myself. My wife's going to be teaching starting in the fall, about late August, she starts teaching. I'll maybe go on the road by myself and keep myself occupied by taking some photographs, shooting some video, doing some editing, and uploading it here and there when it's, uh, uh, you know, when it's uh, appropriate, when I have the access <laughs> to Wi-Fi, maybe, uh, uh, maybe at some library or something in one of the communities. Who knows? So comments, I've been getting quite a few comments on my channel. I appreciate comments. Uh, sometimes people tell me, Jesus, uh, uh, this, and sometimes, sometimes they say that. So I've had a wide variety of comments on my channel. I appreciate your comments. I try to uh, understand where you're coming from, uh, and hopefully you're trying to understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I like your kind, professional, straightforward comments. Uh, you know, uh, Honesty is important to me. Uh, if you're honestly have a I, you know, different opinion than mine. I, I, you know, I appreciate listening to you. I appreciate learning from your perspective. I will still probably argue with you or discuss with you my perspective from my experience, okay? Thanks for checking out my channel. This has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, only if you have the time, uh, please leave your kind and super professional and friendly. I enjoy friendly comments. I enjoy people being nice to me. When people are mean to me, I start crying and I go in the corner and I pout. Okay, you do not want to do that to me, okay? Please don't do that to me. Uh, if you have the time, and you, especially if you have the cash, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.